Christ compels you! Is what the, today is about. Hey, welcome to Bible Made Elementary. I'm so glad that you could hang out with me today. Today, we are talking about Titus chapter 3. And we're talking about this letter from Paul to his buddy Titus that was living on this island who was in charge of going and spreading the gospel of Jesus on that island. And we're in the last part of this letter from Paul. And so it actually it contains one of my favorite verses from the Bible. So we're going to read that today and we're going to talk about what Paul thinks is important for us as Christians to do. So I'm in Titus chapter 3 and I'm going to start in verse 3 if you want to follow along. At one time we too acted like fools. We didn't obey God. We were tricked. We were controlled by all kinds of evil desires, and we were full of evil. We wanted what belonged to others. People hated us, and we hated one another. But the kindness and the love of God our Savior appeared. He saved us. It wasn't because of the good things that we had done. It was because of his mercy. He saved us by washing our sins away. We were born again, and the Holy Spirit gave us new life. God poured out his Holy Spirit on us freely. That's because of what Christ Jesus has done. His grace has made us right with God. So now we have received the hope of eternal life as God's children. You can trust the saying, these things are important. Treat them that way. And those who trust God will be careful to commit themselves to doing good. These things are excellent. They are good for everyone. Paul's saying that sometimes as Christians, we can think of ourselves as better than other people, but we aren't better. We just have met Christ and that changes everything. Paul used to try and kill Christians. So when Paul met Jesus, it completely changed his life and changed how he was gonna treat others. And because of the love that Jesus has for us, it compels us to do loving things towards other people. So that's what people talk about when we talk about the power of Christ. The power of Christ compels us to be loving to others the way that we want to be loved ourselves. That is what the power of Christ is. So make sure this week that you go out and you exhibit the power of Christ because it compels you to do good things for God. Hey, thanks for checking out by Main Elementary. I'm so glad that you could hang out with me today. And I just want you to know you are awesome. You were created by God to be exactly who you are and you are loved. Sometimes it doesn't seem like you are loved, but I love you because you're awesome and you were made by God. So thanks for checking out by Main Elementary today and I will see you later. Give me a high five on the count of three. Ready? One, two, three.